So, so if you if you look at what's happening now, you know this latest boom in DeFi the last two years, it's it's starting to show the aspects of banking in a way where I think it's more understandable to those that are within the financial industry. I, and I don't want to overstate this. I don't think if you ask the average bank executive, are they spending much time thinking about DeFi? The so far the answer is not that mm-hmm. much, but I think that's increasing um, because it's starting. You're starting to see that the core sort of building blocks of what a bank does being replicated. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, there's the credit lending um, and that that relationship starting to be replicated. Now, of course, going back to the sort of the Pascal's wager aspect, there is a there is some some percentage chance that all of DeFi is just BS and, and created on the back of a global zero interest rate policy, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and, and a lack of regulatory oversight. That is definitely... A probability. I don't know what the likelihood of that probability is. Uh, my view, though, is that it's it's like much of what crypto is, which is also not an original thought. But it's crypto is an incredible thing of really trying to rerunning financial financial history in sped up time, mm-hmm. right? So the the chance to be able to experiment with thousands and tens of thousands of different projects all at once, where the large majority of them will end in tears, but there will be some that emerge as be, being quite interesting. I think you're seeing some of that on the DeFi side now. And I do think it's inspiring. Um, it's inspiring some of these financial institutions to take a second look 